Hi everyone, it's Annas. In today's video, I'm going to embroider onigiri rice balls. I'm going to move the camera closer to my hands and show you how to do that. I'm going to start from drawing a rice ball. If you draw a big one, it'll be hard to stitch. So don't make it too big. It's smaller than the size of the 100 yen coin. About the same size as the 100 yen coin, I think. Draw a triangle in the circle. Make every corner rounded. Put umeboshi, a pickled plum, inside of it. I'm gonna wrap seaweed around a rice bowl, so the pattern is like this. The line is blurred now. I'll trace it with a pen. This line and this one. It only consists of a circle and a triangle. I'm gonna trace it onto the fabric. When a dressmaker is tracing paper, remove its backing paper. It's hard to remove it. Bless it with the colored side down. Place the pattern on top. Trace it with a ballpoint pen or a stylus. I have a stylus so I use it. You can also use red colored dressmaker's tracing paper. I have blue one today. So it's transferred. I'm gonna embroider from Umeboshi a pickled plum. Make tiny running stitches in the middle. You can start with a knot though. Bring your needle back into the previous hole. It's anchored. Trim off the tail. When you embroider a circle, have a directional stitch in the center, fill in the half and the other half. No need to make it a perfect circle, I think. Of course, it'll look neat if you make a perfect one, but it's a pickled plum, and it can be a diamond shape. Will be looked a pickled plum if there's something red inside. The tip to embroider a circle is not to stitch too much. Many people try to make a circle and tend to have stitches too much. But you can't cover stitches later. Embroidery thread is connected as you know. So have stitches moderately. You can add them later. If you stitch to some extent, it may turn out to be enough. So the key is not to stitch too much. You can absolutely add some later, if it's not enough. The edge is not made of a tiny dot. Some people make a tiny dot there and end up to be diamond shaped. I think this is enough. I'm not good at making a circle, so it's a bit funny shape. But it could be fine. To finish your thread, weave through the back. Scoop up stitches in the back twice. And trim off the tail. Next, I'm gonna embroider rice with white thread. I'm using a full thick strand of thread to embroider grains of rice. No need to divide it up. Use an embroidery needle for six strands of thread. You can start by weaving through the back or tying a knot. I'll do with a knot this time. 
then start stitching. Half stitches at random. Make straight stitch about this length. This is one grain of rice. If you make it long, it'll be like indica rice. I prefer to make a tasty Japanese rice like Koshikikali or whatever. You should have one stitch and then have another one close to each other. The key to embroider grains of rice is to change the direction of them when they are placed side by side. Stitches here are at an angle of 90 degrees. It might be a too big angle. Or you can have a stitch at an angle of 45 degrees. In a word, it'll be like satin stitch if you have stitches in the same direction. So fill an area at random with stitches in various directions. Surprisingly, many people may feel it difficult to do so. Those who are sloppy like me are good at doing that. Organized persons may be unable to know where they should stitch. I want to add stitches until the fabric can't be seen. But if you add too much, it'll look like long and short stitch or something like that. So it's a bit difficult to decide how much I should add. Anyway, keep doing this way. Now I've done the right area. I'm gonna add black stitches around and make a seaweed part with outline stitch. Have one stitch, come up a short distance ahead. Now I'm using two strands of thread. If you make the seaweed stand out more, you can use three strands of thread. Do you see the stitch overlapped in the middle of the previous stitch? Then, weave through the back. It's anchored. So simple, isn't it? Next, I'm gonna embroider a gula salmon robe. I started with tying a knot, but you can also start with running stitch, whichever is okay. Today, I'm gonna embroider five small circles. For small circles, three stitches are enough to fill in, like this. Now we're done. Gura, salmon rope. Weave through the back and finish the thread. Next, seaweed. It's wrapped with seaweed diagonally. I'm going to make it with satin stitch. When something is overlapped in the pattern, stitch this side first. So from this area. Directional stitch in the middle. Fill in the upper half and do the bottom half. Now I've done half of it. Let's move on to the other half. I only can put three foot upside down to work it easier since I'm right handed person. Again, have a directional stitch filling the half and the other half. The reason I made it upside down is it's easier to work by coming at the outside 
and aiming to go down into the same hole. It's hard to do this in the other way around. If you feel it difficult to work, make your embroidery hoop upside down and keep stitching. Weave through the back. Next, I'm gonna embroider rice, grains of rice. For rice, I'm using six strands of thread. You can start with tying a knot or weaving through the back, whichever is okay. Half stitches at random. Now I stitch it horizontally. Next, I'm gonna have a bit slanted stitch or have lots of tiny straight stitches. It'll be like rice very much. But if you arrange it too neatly, it'll look like satin stitch. Fill an area with stitches in various directions and make it packed. I'm going to embroider Tenmusu deep fried shrimp. I'm going to start from the tail of the shrimp. It's in a zigzag line. Have long stitches first and then fill a gap between stitches. For this stiff part of the shrimp, half stitches horizontally. When I finish it, weave through the back. Next, take yellow thread. I called it yellow, but two yellowish color may not suit. I'm gonna embroider the coating part. For the coating part, you should not stitch neatly. Want to make it fluffy, so it's difficult to stitch sloppy on purpose. How should I explain? When you draw the pattern, draw it fluffy like a cloud, like drawing a cloud. Anyway, yellow part makes it look like Tenmusu deep fried shrimp. Next, I'm gonna embroider seaweed. Have a directional stitch in the center, fill in the half and the other half. Now I've done the half of it, then I'm gonna do the other half. Turn your embroidery hoop upside down if you need, and keep stitching. Next, I'm gonna stitch rice. Have tiny straight stitches in various directions at random. It's completed, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.